record because I totally forgot for the first segment. Whoops! Alright. According to this, I've been playing exactly one hour though, so that's that was well timed. Alright. Minus the time I spent messing around trying to figure out how to use input for this game. Um, alright, so let's see. I wanted to turn up the battle speed a little bit. Try it on five and see if that's too fast. Oh, wait. Let me save again because I've changed something and I want to save. Yep. And emulator save slot as well. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Let us continue. Let me see if room 2 had a tutorial thing, but what was this? Mm, triangle playing up, increase, yeah, alright, that's fine. E means the items are equipped, figured as much. A symbol under a character means the person is currently in your party. Yeah. Okay. Ride a chocobo like you would expect. Press B button to dismount. Once you get off, the bird will return to its pen. I haven't, given that I haven't met <laughs> chocobos before, if I had never played a Final Fantasy game, that might be a really confusing text. Somewhere in this world, there is a thing called a chocobo, and you can you can ride it. Um, or chocobos, as some people that I know uh, pronounce it. Just the Carey brothers and Tom. Because <laughs> we've only ever seen it in print. There you know, was no if internet. I... <laughs> Yes, so some some childhood friends of my husband's from back in the days before the internet taught you how people pronounce things. Okay, so if I'd talked to this guy first, I would have known that that was probably a trap chest. But being that I saw a treasure chest and immediately looked for the shinies, that that was my downfall. Not really downfall because it wasn't that hard to fight, but you get the idea. Staying in an inn revives the party, that's nice. As a matter of fact, I have heard about relics. I saw it on my options menu. Relics give you party members variety of abilities, for example. Smart choose double speed, true night. Okay, so they're just they're equip um like equip slot stuff. Dragoon boots add jump. Gauntlet allows you to hold a sword with both hands. Two relics per person. Alright, that's good to know. Oh, well, that don't mind if I do. Tincture. That sounds like a thing that probably does something. Here's poison, maybe? Uh, that's probably... That might be Ant Dot. But no, Ant Dot is the spell. So I didn't end up reading anything here. But there is a chest, just like the other rooms. So hopefully this chest has a thing. Sleeping bag. Nice. Can I read this book? No, I can't read the book. And this pot does not have treasures in it. Damage is more severe when caught in the concert attack. Use care when running. It's like in Pokemon, you have to check every like single trash can and pot and statue in the entire game. Statues never have anything interesting in them, but except once I think there was a secret switch. But you have to check all of them anyway. White numbers appear in battle. Our damage points, yeah, our recovery, I figured as much. In the back row, damage and attack power are halved. Change rows, okay. So that there is some effect to the way things are structured in battle. Okay, you can run from battle. I don't remember which buttons those are, but press both shoulder buttons. Full meter and lower right means character, yeah. Yes, X or Y lets you pass. I discovered that by accident. When selecting a spell, press L or R to select multiple targets. Interesting. What is my L and R buttons? Oh, that's not. Here, input. L and R are A and S for me. So as. Okay. Good to know. So if I press A or R, I can select multiple L's. That's probably going to be useful. During a battle, press left or right on the control to select the row. Row or defense? 
defense cuts damage in half. It works. Okay. And row does nothing? I don't know. Okay, here are the status effect colors. That's going to be the one I want. Speed. Stop. Time stops. Okay. I think that was everybody. If not, too bad. And did I miss anything that was in a pot in this room? Because now that I know stuff can be in pots, i got to check all the pots. No, nothing in that pot. Okay. Or on that chair. Still can't read that book. But seriously, this is literally like the worst way to do a tutorial that I can possibly think of. Oh, that's my alarm. Just one sec. BRB. Sorry about that. Back. I just noticed that Thanarod tried to text me to let me know about my volume issues, which, thanks Thanarod. I appreciate it. <laughs> totally didn't notice when it was relevant, but thanks anyway. Alright, so now that I've seen all the things, naturally I need to go save again, because saving. Not one this time. Okay, I checked all the things, and now I can leave Tutorial House. Thank you, Tutorial House. You've been good to me. So it seems like that flashy blue light means full health recovery. So now I can actually decide where I want to go, I think. I could go down, I could go up, I can go to the side. This is the first time this game has kind of opened up a little bit. Maybe. Let's see if I actually can go up here. Yes, I can. Uh-oh. Who might you be? So I could have just missed this whole thing. Okay. So this is big. It gives me the option to go up here, which is nice. But it tells me that I don't want to be here. So it's still fairly linear, but at least I felt like I made a choice there. Like, because I did that, I got to see that little tiny piece of cutscene. So it still feels as though it was something relevant to me. But I'm gonna do what the game wants. And go south. And now I'm on a giant open world map. Ah. Leaper and... Whatever that's called. Dark Windy. Oh, I should be stealing with him. If you have a character that can do steal, you should always just use steal, because then you can get stuff. And everybody loves free stuff. Look how excited they are. They're like jumping up and down. Uh -oh. Nothing is ever as quite as triumphant as the Final Fantasy victory music. This is a big old world map. Look at that. Look how open this is. I can go anywhere, except most places will probably have things that can kill me. But theoretically, I can go anywhere. Except the places that are closed off. I can probably turn the battle speed all the way up. Aren Arenid Arenade Arenade Da 
not a tonic. I'm assuming tonic is probably the like MP restoring thing. But... Couldn't steal. What kind of thief are you? Can't even steal from a scorpion? I already stole from it and forgot somehow. Try one more time to steal from it, and then I'll just start attacking. Couldn't steal. See, every time that happens, it just makes me think, oh, he probably has something way more valuable. Which is probably not true, but... Okay, so can I now hit A or S to... Yeah, to multi-cure. Nice. See, the tutorial village was good for something. This is angry desert action. Alright. I'm guessing I'm probably gonna run into more random battles in the sand. And is this Figaro? It's a city in the desert. Hey, Figaro Castle. It was roughly southward. Wait. Oh, it's you. Okay. <laughs> Wait, no. I didn't want to leave. I wanted to go around and talk to the Chocobo Men. I can't talk to the Chocobo Men. Chip. Fine. Yes, it's me. I will be coming in. Thank you. Really, you have been expecting me. Yeah, I need that victory music. I want. I, I know someone who had that victory music. I think is their cell phone ring, which I would really love to have. Go see the king. Okay, fine. Jeez, don't have to tell me more than twice. Unless there are any other guards here, in which case yeah, I will totally ask them. Is this a door? It is a door. It's our giant exhaust fans confirmed. Oh hey, he's a merchant. What do you got for me? I should probably um how much I have plenty of gill. Um I should buy a couple of of these status things just in case, probably. Because, I mean, you never know when you might run into something. <clears throat> How come, like, antidote can be, you know, eight letters long, and yet reflect has to be reflect? And never sell anything. Because you never know what might be useful later. They said to go see the king, but there are doors here with people behind them, so clearly I'd do that first. Auto crossbow, noise blaster, bio blaster. Does it say what these do? Can I press a button to s no? They seem to be weapons. By this one. Okay, gas is multiple enemies. Are these usable items or are they equipable? Confuses multiple enemies. Use with the tools command, so it looks like they're they're expendable. Strikes multiple enemies. Okay. If that's an expendable item, then I'm not gonna bother. But I am gonna open these chests. Okay. And alright. I'll just be taking all your valuables. Don't mind me, just a treasure hunter. Come through. No big deal. Oh, I was hoping there were, like, hidden doors on this side, because they're the same... You see how they're kind of, like, indented into the wall in the same way as the bottom ones? I guess not, though. Nah. Right. The 
stand on this patch of green garbage. Oh no, wait, that's a door too. Wait a minute. Oh no, which is the way I'm supposed to go? Is this not a door? That seems like that's gotta be the way I'm supposed to go. So I'm gonna try going this way instead. Does it take me to the roof? It does take me to the roof. Yeah, you're right, those turrets are giant fans. They're just, that's just ventilation for the castle. Or maybe it's in case the, the entire castle needs to pick up and fly away. Ah, uh, let me just admire this view of the desert for a second. Alright, enough scenery. Back to the king. He was expecting us, I guess. So we should probably not keep him waiting further. What are these things? Are they like sconces or ribbons or, I don't know, blood fountains? Hey, should I go see the king? Yes! How about you? What do you think I should be doing right now? You don't say. I can't go through the sides here. Can I sit in your wife's chair? <laughs> only facing, <laughs> only facing the back of it. Can I check out these swords on the wall? Alright, I'll talk. Fine, I'll talk to the king. He also has scars slash hairs over both of his eyes. I don't know what that's supposed to mean in terms of the sprite. Sideways eyebrows. No, eyebrows would be sideways. That's what's, that's what's Point. Vertical eyebrows is what you're saying? Sideways eyebrows. Yes, okay. So he has vertical eyebrows. These are just this is just a world in which people have vertical eyebrows. That's why you can't see it on Locke because on Loch because his uh his headband's covering them. You mean this young woman? Who do you think you are looking me up and down? Oh, good. You get to name the character. Edgar. Alright, guys. Edgar. You should be... Edgar? Like, from Men in Black? Edgar. No, Edgar. Edgar! I'll, I'll give it a little bit for, for chat to ch to catch up and, and suggest some names if you want. But I like I like Egar. <laughs> Egar. He looks kind of. I was gonna say dashing, but dashing is not really. The word, he looks kind of just slightly distracted by something above him, actually. But he's got, you know, the floppy, flowy hair. Eggbird. Eggbird is pretty good, too. <laughs> Eggbird? Should we do Eggbird? Egg. Eggbird? Is he flipping the bird? I don't know, it looks like he might have a little bird in his hair. Or possibly a small snake. Uh, it's unclear. But I did not- I did not notice him flipping the bird. Maybe I did not see it. I'm gonna go all lowercase. Is Edward close enough to Edgar? We're we gonna remember that his name is Edgar? I really, I think I'm gonna go with Edgar. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Big Will. I just really like Edgar. Plus, that will that will remind me that it's actually Edgar. All right, Edgar. Oh, you're right. He is flipping the bird. 
Figaro. Edgar, King of Figaro. All right, out of seven. That's fine. Okay. Surprise someone like me. Well, to be fair, I just met you, and for some of that time, I was unconscious. So, like, I barely know you at all. I don't see why. <laughs> oh yes, let's nod to each other a lot. What the hell? So they just nodded at each other a bunch and he left. Okay. Figaro and the Emperor are allies. Please relax. It's not my blood time. So if, if you and the ally and the Empire are allies, why is a guy from that little town coming to seek asylum with you? If it's the, they're trying to take out that town. Maybe they just don't actually care about the town. They just care about the duck bird in the in the ice thing. It's not in your blood to harm a lady. Well then, why are you helping me? Because of my abilities? Again with the little finger waggle. This is clearly the intended sound effect. I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty me. Wow, good to know. Oh god, it's one of these. So, yes, basically my abilities and you think I'm hot. That is not encouraging. Yeah, what is with you anyway? <laughs> yes, well, rusty I think would be, would be one way of putting it. Would a normal girl have found him dashing? I don't, I mean, I consider myself normal. I didn't find him that dashing. You're, yeah, well, the only thing weird about you is you have bright green hair. So you're not that weird. Well, and you're wearing a bikini and shoulder pads or something. I don't know. If I talk to these guys, are they going to tell me to go see the king? No. Now I can feel free to wander about. Thanks, I already did. I've already made myself at home wandering onto your roof. To see the views. I assume that it won't. Will it let me leave as just Terra? It seems like that could be dangerous. I've heard the Empire is using something called magic. I saw his harness the power of magic. Who can stop him now? So the guys with the mechs and are the same as the guys who are using magic. They have both magic and technology at, on their side. We are just a little town of rebels. Or resurgence or something. In insurgents. No, resurgence, I think, is what they said. Insurgence is something else. I don't think we're invading. I mean, we're just a tiny little town. I say we. I don't know where she's even from. She doesn't know where she's even from, so... Alright, this is just the stores again. I need to go to the stores. Figaro. It's a tiny little desert town that consists of basically just this one port. I assume if I try and leave, it's going to give me my party back because it would be dangerous to let my, me wander around as just the one character. It doesn't look like it, but this castle incorporates some of the most high-tech devices in existence. For example, fans. Oops, they're all top secret. No, I I got it. It's it's fans. I I can see them. They're just right there. The most modern structure in the world. Wow. Look how nice and modern this castle is. I do actually, I, I'm being sarcastic, but I do actually like the world building in these games. They're always very detailed. And for the time period, this was pretty impressive. The scholars the world over doing research on magic, silly people scholars. You know, a force called magic existed, people who use. Magic were called mage knights. Okay. Not just mages. Mage knights. Alright. There's a staircase here. Let's see where it takes me. Some kind of basement, maybe? Oh, I can talk to the chocobo dudes now. No! I just wanted to go there. Okay, good. I was worried there for a second that they wouldn't let me back in. That would be a terrible bug. Hold on, 
and I still have one more Chocobo person to speak with. That's the other thing about games like this. You have to talk with every single NPC, because you never know who might act, like, randomly give you a super great item or something, or a piece of information that you really need. So you just gotta make sure that you talk to everybody, even though most of the time it really is not relevant. Wow, this place is bigger than I thought it was. Ooh, can I sleep? No, I can stand behind the covers though. Hey, weapons and items manufactured here are sent to South Figaro. Oh, this is not the only Figaro? Is, I thought the Figaro was just this castle. Maybe it's a whole, maybe it's the whole desert. Other side, let me see what's there. Man, this place is quite large. I assume it's gonna be more or less symmetrical, but maybe there'll be a chest or something somewhere. Right, already this is different. Need a rest? Sure. Why not? That's very soothing. That's not the, the same, like, sleep music I'm used to, but it's still very soothing. Though Edgar shows his attention, showers his attention on women, most are too smart to pay any attention to him. Okay, so it's not just me. It's all of the ladies. They're like, dude thinks he's hot shit. But he's a king who makes... You recently tried to hit on the high priestess. Surely he's talked to you. I've seen that archetype before. I know more or less what to expect from him. He's going to be a cad and hit on me all the time, but eventually he's going to turn out to be actually a decent fellow. Is this Figaro, this castle? Yes, I heard from your friends. Are you just all tied to the same, same single data block for your dialogue? Probably. Hello, little girl. His Highness said he'd marry me when I got older. Of course he did. Agar has a twin brother. He was such a nice boy. That fading out of music signifies to me that something's about to happen. Youth! Brother, what is wrong with father? What's all this talk of his successor? Well, their dad died. And Egar was sad. Tears? Oh no! He has feelings! <laughs> Traded the throne for his own freedom. Oh, oh, we have a naming. Alright, guys. My energy level's pretty good. I think I'm gonna. I think I can make it at least another hour. Alright, Sabin or Sabine. What am I what am I gonna call him? <laughs> I'm tempted to call him Basin. <laughs> mm. Sabin is good too. That's what his brother does. Wah -wah. Call him Save Ben. I don't think I have that many characters, probably. No, I do not. What about Bison? Bison? <laughs> he does look a little like, uh, like M. Bison, actually. <laughs> Sobin. People are saying I should do Sobin. Alright, we can do Sobin. Sabin? Say Ben! Say Ben is pretty good too. Say my name, it's Ben. Alright, looks like we got two votes for Sabin. 
so I'm, I'm gonna keep him as Sabin. Uh, Alright. Sabin it is. If I was playing this on my own, by the way, I would probably just use all their default names because I, otherwise I forget what their names are supposed to be and I like to when I am later having conversations with people like to be able to refer to the same character <laughs> his name is Sabin because he is so sad he looks so like his father they both did because they were twins <clears throat> when he ran away he was a sweet little child I wonder what he's like now could he possibly be the evil twin of Egger because that sounds to me like how you get evil twins Empire has smashed the three cities on the southern continent. Just a matter of time till they come up here. Okay. That's a land play, I assume. Need... I keep trying to click on these things as though I'll get, like, interactive descriptions. But I guess this isn't really that kind of game yet. By which I mean it's a little early time period-wise for that kind of game. Like, that's the sort of thing you'd get in a Pokemon game, but I think this is... They did not have enough memory to hold text descriptions of all the objects in the game or something. Oh. Uh, no, I think I'm okay. How do I get back down? I uh, come out this way. Alright, so... How do I... Where do I go to... Just wonder... It seems... Yeah, yeah, look, it's just me, guy. I really just, like, came to see the king, and they were like, Aha! It's you! Alright, just go on your way. Like, that seems unlikely. Hello, person. Did I talk to you last time? Chancellor, the whole business of the succession was so repugnant to Sabin, the king's brother, that he fled the castle forever. The succession was settled with a join cross coin toss. Well, I mean, you didn't need... Do you mean a metaphorical coin toss? Because I assume if only one of them was there, you didn't really need a coin toss because there was just the one guy there. I assume... And it's not really even a metaphorical coin toss because, like, he left. That was a decision that he made. It wasn't random in any way. Maybe they were fraternal twins. It's possible. Toin yes, toin cost. <laughs> Good old toin cost. Well, how do you like my castle? It's large and there's not much in it. How do you like them castles? <laughs> how do you like them castles? Somebody from the Empire is here to see you. Probably Kefka. I will say this for Kefka. He has a fun introductory theme. Silly Emperor Gestal's stupid orders. He's colorful, too. Pig are you, pinhead? Why do you have to live in the middle of nowhere? It's true, he does live in the desert. Recon jobs are the pits. There's sand on my boots. There's a snake in my boot. <sighs> I could make a comment here about uh, males with coded feminine stereotypes always being villains, but... I'm not gonna get into it. I think he's I, just crazy. No, no, no. Like that's the whole thing with you know, it's a it's a trope. It's like Scar from The Lion King, or um, you know, the the whatever his face is from Pocahontas, and like there's a good proportion of enemies where the whole thing is that they're like really fancy and effeminate and like easily offended and stuff. No, and I, it's sort I, of like I get the there's a lot of coded just, undertones uh, of gay stereotypes as as evil and so on. But anyway. Crazy. Uh, well, he may also be crazy. Also. <laughs> I do love this little sprite's laugh animation, though. It's perfect. If anyone wants to see a really great documentary, by the way, about, um, like, stereotypes and, and uh, coded subtext in about homosexuality in the history of film, uh, there's a documentary called The Celluloid Closet, that's really, really good and really informative, and I highly recommend it. So, Kefka, what on earth do you are out of my way? Okay. 
Okay. Oh, oh, I'm playing Edgar. Hey, hey, Edgar. Well, I can't, I can't talk to him. <laughs> Barring my wage going back so I don't do that. I thought we were allies. What are you doing in my <clears throat> You've been busy down south looking for more suits. Cities to destroy? That's for us to know! It's interesting that they let me control Edgar there because, like, there's literally nothing I can do except walk up to these people and talk to them. It's a tiny little confined space where I can barely even move back and forth, let alone left and right. And all I can do is walk up and talk to them, but they decided, well, we've taken control away for long enough. We'll just let, let you walk up to them and talk. What brings Kefka, humble servant of Emperor Gestalt, into our lowly presence? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found a refuge here. Mmm. It's enough to do anything to do with the witch everyone knows about with. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend from now on that Kefka is um Eddie Redmayne's character from Jupiter Ascending. And I'm going to say all his lines in, like, uh, a random horse whisper, ex unless some of them are randomly screamed, in which case I will randomly scream. Do you have anything to wish is whispering about, would it? Lies! She really stole something of mine of value. Is she here? That's a tough one. You see, there's more girls than here than grains of sand out there. I can't keep track of them all. Oh, Edgar, you player you. I'd hate to be you if we found- No, sorry. I'd hate to be you if we found out you're lying. Mwah, ha! I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. By the way, if you guys haven't seen the movie Jupiter Ascending, See the movie Jupiter Ascending. It's out on DVD now. It is it is fantastically awful. It's like it's so entertaining. I love it so much. It's a terrible, terrible movie, don't get me wrong, but I I really I really enjoy it a lot. It's like so bad it's 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 epic. Vampire allies. Yes, I know that. I'm the king. Can I sleep here? Yes. Don't listen to Skug. You do need to watch Jupiter Ascending. Jupiter Ascending is the best. It's like, it's like a, you know, Sharknado sort of like epic fail terrible, but it's not try- that's the thing about it is like, I don't like it when movies are like set up to be ridiculous. Bye Rob. Have a good night. Um, I don't like it when movies set themselves up to be ridiculous, because then it's sort of like, eh, whatever. But, like, Jupiter Ascending is trying so hard to be, like, serious art and epic space opera. And it's just, oh, man. It just falls on its face so hard. It's very much like, you know, the fanfiction of a 14-year-old girl. Like, it's, it plays into the sort of, like, really ridiculous wish fulfillment fantasies of like young girls in a way that you know tons of moms do that for guys like you know you get your your um what you my face is the transformers movie where you get megan fox like all sexy laid out on the hood of a car or whatever like this is just that but for women you just don't you just we're just not used to seeing that as much um but oh man it's got like Space werewolf mercenaries and bees that can smell royalty and like dragon bodyguards and you know s space vampire dynasties. It's it's fantastic. 100% recommend. Uh, all right. Matron says Eggers at it again. He hits on anything that moves. I'm Egger. Why are you saying this to me? Like, it's, that's me. That's me. You're talking to. I wonder if I can... Oh, no, wrong button. 
I was just interested if uh, I was in a mode where I could switch between multiple parties like I could with the Moogles, but apparently not. I have to be Edgar for now. Yes, bees that can smell royal royalty. That's like a thing that comes up in like one scene and then is never mentioned again. Like it's a very strong plot point for one scene and then completely like never explained and abandoned. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. I cannot, I cannot, like, adequately express how much I love this movie. It's like, it also, like, can't decide which genre, what genre it wants to be. Like, sometimes it's kind of a romantic comedy, and sometimes it's epic space opera, and then it briefly becomes a Terry Gilliam film in, with a scene in which Terry Gilliam cameos. Like... I don't know, it's... it's great. Oh, we're doing research. Oh, yeah, same thing. Alright, so what, what am I supposed to even be doing right now? I'm supposed to be finding the others of my party, I assume? Or, like, going back and talking to... Alright, where's Tara? There she is. Take her to her room. I'd love to have a chat with you, but the Chancellor and I must find a strategy. Sometimes I hate being a king, but they excuse me. Meanwhile, she's like, listen, what the fuck is going on here? It's like, seriously, you could just... You could just, like, tell me what's going on. I mean... I'm trusting you by randomly following you around the place. The least you could do is, like, give me some info about why people are chasing me. I guess it's because I have magic. Uh, okay, so I have no idea where he went from here, but given that this is the only other outlet, I'm gonna assume it's this way. Yeah, there it is. What about a thing on your lock, right? Wow! Did I not even know his name up until this point? Like, I'm only now learning who he is, apparently. And, and he was surprised that, like, I she thought I should be surprised that he knew the king. Like, literally, I don't even know your name. Edgar told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? That's Treasure Hunter. On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. The truth is, he's collaborating with the Returners. Oh, Returners, not not Resurgence. Returners. It's a synonym. Uh, an Arnold's Empire. I am his contact with that group. Oh, well, at least he is trusting me with info. That's nice. Old man you met in Narsh is one of us. The Empire, but I'm a soldier of the Empire. Not on purpose. We're using you. Things are different now. I don't understand. What should I do? You don't have to decide right now. You'll soon find your way. Okay. How will I know which way is right? Yeah, it's tough to make decisions on no memories. That's okay. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I'm guessing that the evil giant empire is evil. I mean, that seems that seems a pretty good start to the decision making. You know, not not going with the giant empire trying to take over the world. Now that I know that all the beds are like you just stand behind the cover, every time I see a character in bed, it's hilarious to me. I mean, it's a great solution in terms of the mechanics of the game, but it's just... Oh no, they're burning down the stone castle in the middle of the desert! <laughs> it's Kefka. So, so, sorry. So the thing with uh, that I was comparing to Jupiter Ascending with Kefka is there's a character who's like, um, Space Nero in Jupiter Ascending played by by Oscar award-winning actor Eddie Redmayne and he just puts on this like super affected like hoarse strained voice and then that's he like whispers all the time and then he randomly just shouts some of his lines for effect it's it's like he looks like he's having so much fun in that movie So jet lag, the how will I, I know which one is right sounds more like a plaintive, I'm a girl, I need a man to rescue me. Yeah, maybe. I mean, she is the only female character we've run into so far, um, but we haven't met that many characters. And she is, like, 
the main character, so she's got that going for her at least. Or at least so she was the first playable character we were introduced to. So to I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt for now. To the extent that this game can have a main character, she said. Yeah. But so So yeah, I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. It that could be read as a little like, you know, I am a I am an indecisive girl. I don't know what's right I don't know my right from my wrong. Please someone come rescue me. But they are at least giving her info, and they're like, you know, when the time comes, you will make the decision. So, that's- she seems to have some agency. She doesn't have any memory, but, like, tons of video game characters don't have any memory. So, we'll, we'll see where it goes. I'm- like I said, I'm giving the game the benefit of the doubt to start with. Um, we'll see- we'll see what it does with that benefit of the doubt. Alright, what are you doing? Oh, I can walk again. Man, <laughs> these guards are going crazy. Fire! <laughs> Listen, the fire will not be helped by you running back and forth in place. Fire, fire, heh heh heh. Bring me the girl. No! I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> <coughs> Again, I can't tell if that's wahahaha or uahahaha. I think it's uah. It's supposed to be mwahaha. No, it's clearly it's either a u or a v. I know it's a mistake of some kind. No, I think that's just. I think it's uah. Uahahaha. Yeah. Chat chat's catching up with noticing the guards. Saying what? Huh? The chat's delayed, so they are now they are now noticing the guards. Running back and forth in place and, and shouting fire. God, these guys are great. So, anyone back this way? Is there still? Do you also shout fire? No, I tell. Them. Wait, that actually did a thing. I'm just gonna abandon everyone. <laughs> yeah, shameful, leaving him behind. Just jump off the castle, like, that's probably at least a good 30 feet up. Dive now. Yahoo. Alright. Dive? Oh, is the castle going to... Oh, it's literally gonna dive. It's literally gonna submerge into the desert. I guess we know what all those fans are for now. I can't help but feel that, like, those fans are great intakes for sand. That'll just, like, fill the place with sand. I assume they, they cover over with some kind of thing. No, they're, they're grinders. Yeah, but sand would, like, get all into the machinery. That's the point. They pull the sand through. They grind through the sand. So you th you're saying they're like little sand drills, the towers, that are just yeah. like like a whatever the the technical the term. What's, I it, what's his name? name? Screw Aristotle? Screw Socrates? Socrates? Screw some some Plato? Archimedes. Screw. Archimedes screw. screw. That's the one. One of those ancient Greeks. I believe the technical term is an impeller. Impeller? Yes. It sucks water in instead of. Pushing For those it out. who weren't here earlier, by the way, my husband is sitting and, uh, at the computer on that side of me. So he is the random off-screen, uh, off-screen uh, voice that you might hear. Yeah, reverse helicaria. Go get them! God, man, trying to do Eddie Redmayne is uh, tough know, on the voice. Do you know your Kafka is actually kind of compelling? It's very different from <laughs> Dude, he is Kepka. exactly Eddie Redmayne's character from Jupiter Ascending. Well, for now. Oh, hey, it's a fight. I haven't had one of those in a while. Hmm. No steel. Definitely no steel. So, there's in Final Fantasy X, if you steal from robots, uh, it can, you can insta-kill them, because, uh, you, like, you steal like, steal, yeah, you steal, like, an important part out of the middle, <laughs> but I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if that's a thing that happens here. Whoa! They just, like, straight up knocked me out, huh? Alright, let's revive. Some Phoenix down. Phoenix down, Phoenix go. Fennec down makes me think of a little fo of a fox that's a snake. Fennec fox? Fennec, snake Fennec fox. down! Fennec. Uh, that would be something else, I think. Alright, 
Oh hey, I finally managed to see this little kick. Oh, no wait, ah, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, I'll use an item instead. I only have one potion. That's no good. Well, she needs it though. I can immediately knock her out again? No. Okay, good. Magic, cure, and I'm going to... Just pay That's right, yeah. I'll cure everybody. Um... What the heck was that? Bigger, what's the matter? You look positively spooked. Did you see what I saw? This kid seems loaded for bear? This kid seems loaded for bear. It just torpasses like a power This kid seems loaded for bear. She is carrying a backpack with all bear's equipment. No, you, you load the shot. <laughs> okay. That's really interesting. So this is a contextual dialogue sequence that happens based on the character using magic in the fight. That's actually really, really cool. I'm, that's interesting. I don't, you don't see that a lot. <laughs> Every time I press the advanced dialogue, it puts up one new letter of this. M-A-G-I-C magic! <laughs> Lux, did you not realize that up until now? Yeah, that's what happens when I cause, like, healing to appear out of thin air. It's a whisper. Guys, there's giant mechs there! Why are we just taking a they're, break? They're, they're, waiting. The they're fight? waiting for you to, to finish talking. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you in the middle of your conversation. <laughs> you make such a big deal of this. Listen, shouldn't we get back to the fight we were having? Like, they're just patiently waiting for us to finish our conversation before attacking us? What? What part of amnesia don't you understand? <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> they swooned, I see. happen every time I try and use magic? I hope not, boys. Alright, uh, select, and then... Yeah, these guys have a lot of hit points. <coughs> Mechs for like taking that huge break in the middle of the fight so they could have their crises of conscience about my magic use. Oh, my god, he's bouncing. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Very cute. I'll pay for this. 
Come on, are we gonna get the Chocobo music? Was that a bad person? I'm scared. You don't need to be scared. You're the literally the only person here who can use magic. That's our Ganon. Ganon, not to be confused with Ganon. Magic is going to be the key to winning this war. All right, magic. Terra has magical superpowers. Esper seemed to react to her. Can there be some connection? Wait, how do they know that? They weren't there when that happened. I think the foggiest just seems natural to me that I've used this power. No human is born with powers you seem to have. Does that mean I'm an Esper? Is that why the snake duck loves me? <laughs> Locke just wandering around in circles. And the was finished. Terry, are you understanding your own powers? Yeah, I have magic. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. You need to consult with Bannon. Please. Okay, South here is... I mean, you guys seem like you're not part of an evil empire trying to take over the world, so... Oh man, look! I'm... <laughs> I'm on, uh, like, third-person overworld map. That's adorable. That is actually super cute. And, okay, on the mini-map the little red dot is the direction I'm facing. So they want me to go this way? Oh, I thought this was water. It seems to just be rock. Well, then how do I get to... It says there's a little dot there, which I assume means a city. <coughs> do I have to actually dismount the, the bird? I may have to dismount the burb. Why is there no fun chocobo music? I miss the chocobo music. Yeah, I'm guessing I can't see cities while I'm on a chocobo. So I'm gonna get to around where the spot is. No, no, there's other cities on the map. Um, now they told me how to dismount Chocobo in the thing. I don't know if I remember. There we go. And now it's back to top down. And that's an interesting way of representing the difference between the two mode styles. That I'm when I'm overhead, I get it more like a like when I'm walking, I get it more like a map, and when I'm uh, riding, I get it the first like third person. Sort of like oh, I, I would almost think it would be the opposite because for me like the map overview implies that I'm like moving faster, but eh, maybe not. Oh, Man, I am so bad at. I was. I said to myself, this time I'll take a break in a more timely fashion, but clearly I've not done that because it's like almost 10:30. All right, after this fight, I'll save on the emulator and then. Um, oh shoot, I need to heal. Alright, hold on. Save. Slot one. And I'm gonna let that be, this be your break music. So. So you guys can chill out to that for five minutes, and we'll be right back. 